we're back. Video number two. So, desperation pies were brought over here by German immigrants as early as 1740. Facts. Historically, these were born out of more of a seasonal desperation than an economic one. So, don't get it twisted. Um, examples of desperation pies include Hooser cream pies from Indiana um, and chess pies most commonly found in the South. Um, my Indiana State Pie and my 50 Pies project was actually a Hooser cream pie. So very relevant, very with it, in the know. Um, they were most common in the 18th and 19th century in America and made a brief comeback dun, 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 during the Great Depression. You guessed it. You knew it. You're smart. So in households across America, pie often served as you know, your standard dessert, um, and sometimes even the main course. So you're not just a snack, you're a whole damn meal. You are a Lizzo song, pie, pie, a whole damn meal. So while pie was always expected, the fillings kind of depended on the seasons, um, it depended on the baker's creativity and the ingredients you had at hand. So, in the next video, video number three, um, I'll take you through pie fillings through each season, spring, summer, fall, and then we'll go through the seasons leading up all the way into desperation pies. So very exciting. So I hope to see you next week for more desperation pie info. Yay!